You can't beat me up worse than I beat myself up. So what you say to me don't matter. Because what I tell myself is worse than anything what anybody can say to me. Don't, don't play with it, don't be the size. Hey, still not understand. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be just a quick little intro into the vlog that I'm about to post and let you know where I've been, what's been going on right now. Um, I am currently uh, working on my diet, changing what I've been eating because I know that I now know that that has been the main source and contributor of the issues that I had been experiencing. This video is basically letting you know where I've been, what's been going on, and then I will follow up with another video to let you know how things been going and where I am. Um, but I had to get this one out first to kind of give you some context to the next video. So watch the vlog. Thank you for clicking on this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and be blessed. CT scan of my abdomen and my pelvis and I have to drink these two big bottles of barium so bear with me I'm gonna let you know how this goes I've been having right-sided pain in my abdomen um, and acid reflux has been pretty bad okay here we go I gotta chug this That's the first one. I have to check it in 15 minutes. I'm finished. I don't even know how long it's been, but I'm done. I have another one that I have to do. All right. It is 1030. I'm on bottle number two. So this time she told me just to sip it until I get to that line and wait. They're going to come out and tell me if I need to finish it or not. So for now, I'm just going to be sipping until I get to that line. So we'll see feel okay now i don't have the bad taste in my mouth anymore the heaviness is gone in my stomach because the first one i had to chug it so it just kind of like boom like settled on my stomach so right now it feels okay so i'm okay it's just like a milky chalky minty like taste but so it's not it's not that bad it's all right Me and Kilo back at it again. Getting it in. We're gonna get our mile in today. Saturday feels good. I'm not as tired. <laughs> so that's good. Let's do this thing. So basically I just finished my televisit um so this was the results of my ct scan everything looked good except for my colon is impacted right now he wants me to take a thousand milligrams of magnesium glycinamine um also he's ordering an ultrasound and i have to have a endoscopy where he's going to put me asleep put a scope down my throat go in and look around internally. I could have inflammation in my gallbladder, which could be irritating my pancreas, um, but he won't know until they go in. I'm literally full of shit. Like he said, it, it is an issue with rate, weight, weight retention. When you are not constantly, you have to have a bowel movement daily. Why is my body holding on to this? And like he said, there's so many things that it could be. But right now, um, there's vitamins, there's supplements, there's herbs that we can, options that we can do. So basically, project pooping. I am having to redo my sleep study from the last time. Um, it didn't record my sleep. So here's the machine. It's the exact same machine. It's the wrist um device i have my nail off this is my non-dominant hand left hand ring finger which is where this 
part is going to go on. This is the chest device. This part here. It's raining outside. I don't know if you can hear. Excuse me, and I'm sleepy. <laughs> so, so I'm going to go ahead and put the watch part on and just strap it. And you can tighten it however tight, you know, like. Just like a regular watch. She told me to feed this wire part through my nightshirt up through your part here. And then you find your bone here, your sternum, that hard flat bone there. Peel this tape off here and put it flat. Replace it, it's sticky. This part is gonna go on your finger. And you're gonna push your finger through, all the way through. So you can't go anymore. Just make sure it's comfortable. Pull the tape back. Once you pull this back, just pull it all the way back, all the way out. And now it's secure. It actually locked on my finger. So now my finger is not coming out. It's It actually snug. So yeah, it's like locked my finger in there. So that's it. Now I'm ready to go to bed. All I do is turn the machine on and go get in the bed. Happy sleeping. Good night, guys. Hey, go. Get up. Get back. Get back on the sidewalk. Why did he? Oh, I think he's scared of. He didn't jump off into the street. I think he don't like those little cherry things. Come on. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Good morning. We're on our walk. And Kilo don't got his nose sent onto something here. I don't know. And turn me all around. These little berry things. And I don't know if he don't like walking on them what but he we get to His them muddy. yeah i know but we get to them and he runs out into the street and i don't like that because there's a lot of um traffic on this one out on the main road here but no i just came on to say good morning we're walking i got my sidekick with me this morning y'all look at how she out this morning did you wave did you say good morning <laughs> it's cold it's 44 degrees here in Texas. But look how she comes out. I'm fussing at her this morning about dressing warmer. And she acts like this is the look. I don't understand kids. Like why pajama pants and Crocs? Bro, like that's not the look. Kilo, no, no, no. He sees that dog over there. He's barking at him technically. He sees that dog. That dog over there. No, we're not trying to go over there. We're not trying to go over there. No, you're not going to pull me over there. We're not going to walk back this way. But no. She, no. No, come on. See, see, he doesn't like these. He will walk over there in the mud before he walks on this and then comes back. See, he doesn't like those little things on his feet. I don't know. Hope y'all are doing something this morning to get your body going, get your blood pumping, staying encouraged. I know the winter months can be a little discouraging for me. The sun goes down so early, it gets dark, and I'm ready for bed so early. So I have to try to figure out when I can actually get out and walk. Because by the time I get done with work, it's dark outside. And if it ain't raining, and if I don't get off on time, I don't have time to go walk. It's, it's nothing like walking. Like, I like to get out, feel the breeze, you know, fresh air, take in a deep breath. You know, I, I don't know. I just love being outside. I think I've talked long enough. I hope you guys are well. Have a great day. God bless you. And move your body. However you do it. Move your body. The tongue is kind of thick. So if this is the tongue that I'm looking at,
looking in there, I don't see that. It's kind of hidden. Mm -hmm. So if it's crowded, why do I wake sitting up? Imagine what happens when you lay down and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. You got to suck air to that little, little hole. That's what sleep apnea is. You do have sleep apnea, but I want to show it to you here in a moment. Okay. I don't tell people what to do. I give them counsel. I want to treat you like family. Okay. okay? This is sleep apnea. It is definite. You're, you see the blue up here? Mm -hmm. The blue are times of the night you struggle to breathe. So you can see that all your struggles to breathe are in deep sleep. We're going to do this right. Okay. And I hope this is not a discouraging visit. I hope this is an encouraging visit. Remember what I said. Yeah. In your hands, you have the ability over the next six months to a year to make decisions. Yeah. That'll add more than a decade to your viable living later on in life outside of the nursing home, yeah. is my belief. You just want to make sure that your magnesium levels are good in your body because that'll okay. make you go regularly. Okay. okay. You know how you strain your muscle in your leg? That's what it's about to feel like in my side. Right. Inside? Yeah. Okay. The liver, gallbladder, without stones. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So everything is. Uh, the uh, CT. Oh, wow. It looks normal. This is the machine. I have it already plugged in here. So I need to plug my tubes. And this is the mouthpiece that I have. Actually not a mouthpiece. It's just nose. It goes over your nose. It doesn't cover your whole face or nothing. It has two little nostril holes and it goes over my nose. So I'll, I'm gonna, open, let me open this up. I'm surprised how long this tube is. You see? So I guess it won't be too um, restricting. I'm trying to remember what she said. So you see that little piece there and this little piece here? You just connect. If I can get it. This little end. And this end here to the back of the machine. Okay, so now here is the water reservoir here that I'm going to fill. You fill this. I'm doing this with one hand. You fill this to the max line, and then I'll show you how you put it back on the machine once I get it filled with the water. Okay, so I'm going to fill it up to the max line. And I'm gonna close it down. Okay, so you just put this part, once you fill the water, put it on this side. You just set it on there, press down, and it's right back in place. And that's it. And now it's back on. And then turn the knob that goes up, as you can see. High five is the hottest. It'll get the water to blow into your nose. And two is the coldest. So right now it's cold outside. So I'm gonna put it on three and hit it to save it. And then go back to home. Okay, so this is the nasal mask. You can see the picture of the name of the nose. That's how it goes. You can measure the size to see what you need. The narrow. And it has the different sizes. The one that's already on mine. I think she said it comes with the medium already on it. This, this strap goes around the back of your head. The nasal, the nose holes goes right under your nose. And so those are the three sizes. It comes with all three. And you can just kind of measure yourself. It's like, can you do anything right? <laughs> you
You see what I'm saying? So then it's like when you have people telling you the opposite of what you're telling yourself, it's kind of hard to soak that in, you know? Yeah. You are a good mom. You are a good person. You are this. You are a good wife. You are this. You are that. Yeah, you thank you. You know, you feel it. You grasp it. You take it in. You are a beautiful but person. But it doesn't take root. It doesn't sink in. Because what I tell myself runs deeper than what you tell me. Then, yeah, you know. It's been on repeat all these years. Yeah. And so it's like the root now. Of, the root of that run deeper. So now what I've been getting to the root of within myself, why have I, why have I been so heavily rooted in beating myself up all these years? I'm still unpacking that for real because I've just gotten to the point of where that failure word came from. Because it came from middle school. It came from high school. It came from back then. That's where it came from. And I told myself that. <laughs> yeah. Because I started to oh, think, there. nobody told me that. Nobody. My family never told me I was a failure. Nobody ever said that to me. But I think I took it on because everyone had such high expectations of me. Well, you're the oldest. You're going to be the first one in our family to graduate college. And you're going to be the first one to do this. And you're going to be the first one to do that. So I think I took on those expectations from everyone else. Turned them into something. And I turned it in, yes. So in, 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 your, in your immaturity, you may not have given yourself space to make the mistakes and grow from them and do better the next round. Right. Because it seems like one failure leads to a spiral and um, positions you to not do well the next time because you've already got that in your mind. You've got that mark against you. You have, you have, I'm calling this, we all have a heart problem. Yes. Yes. And, and, it's, yes. and it's not the physical beating heart in your chest. It's the mind heart. That's why Jesus said yes. repent, which means change the way you think. It's going to require you to change the way you think in order to receive him. That's why we have scripture that says, guard the heart. That's also why we have scripture. This just came to me the other day, listen to Dr. Miles Monroe, where it, it, it talks about, oh, if a man think it, you know, you know like you're, the act of sinning, of doing something is bad. Like yes. so adultery or whatever is bad, but yes. we punish based on the crime or what we see. It does not get to the root of the problem. It's a heart problem. It's the way they think. It's the way they view things. Mm -hmm. So while you wanted to live up to the expectations, they, they weren't the worst expectations, but it is a lot of pressure. Yeah. But And it needed to come with a, an explanation like, yes. Yeah. So instead of saying you, you'll be the first to do this, you get to do this. Yeah. But... If you choose not to, there's no pressure there. Yeah, it's this okay. Not I say it all the time. You can't beat me up worse than I beat myself up. So what you say to me don't matter. Because what I tell myself is worse than anything what anybody can say to me. So you, so yeah. whatever you got to say don't even matter. So whatever. Say, what you, what, say whatever you want to say. Whatever. Which is also why the compliments don't don't for you. Because yeah. What, what I say to you doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it, may, it may cause you to think and pause a little bit. That's why I feel like it's a daily thing. Absolutely. Daily. Daily practice to speak life into yourself. Um, yep. That's why I daily speak life into my kids. Because I don't know what they speak to themselves, but I know what they hear from me. Yeah. You're beautiful. You're strong. You're smart. You're going to have a wonderful day. Regardless of how you woke up this morning. Could have woke up late, angry, upset, tired, hurting, headache, you know, frustrated. Don't want to go. Yeah, all of that. 
all of that. But in spite of it all, we're going to have a good day. We're going to get past all of that. You know, things are going to go well. You speak, speak life, speak positivity, speak, you know, I don't like I said, I don't know what they speaking to themselves, but what they get here, that's why I try to change that. And I'm trying to practice it because I try to practice it with myself. So I want to practice it with them. Don't play with it, don't be the size. Still not a